Jeff Bezos loses billions overnight. Just recently, the fortunes of America's richest billionaires tumbled by $93 billion, the ninth worst daily loss ever, as hotter than expected US inflation data roiled markets. Jeff Bezos' fortune fell by $9.8 billion, the most of any billionaire tracked by the Bloomberg Billionaire Index. Elon Musk's net worth has shrunk by $8.4 billion. Mark Zuckerberg, Larry Page, Sergey Brin, and Steve Ballmer's fortunes all fell by more than $4 billion. While Warren Buffett and Bill Gates' fortunes fell by $3.4 billion and $2.8 billion respectively. The billionaire's large daily losses reflect the broad sell-off in the US stock market, as investors bet that higher-than-expected consumer price index data will prompt the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates more aggressively. The S&P 500 index fell 4.4%, the most since June 2020, while the tech-heavy Nasdaq 100 index fell 5.5%, the most since a more than 12% drop in March 2020. Meanwhile, there is little doubt about what happened in the crypto and traditional markets, increasing the likelihood that the Federal Reserve will maintain its hawkish rate hike pace and assets sold off as a result. As previously stated, in a Coindesk report, annual inflation slowed from 8.5% in July to 8.1%, which was less than the 8.1% expected. Month over month, inflation figures disappointed as well, with a 0.2% decline predicted versus the 0.1% increase that occurred. Over the past weeks, Fed officials have reaffirmed their commitment to containing inflation, which is near four-decade highs. They now have more evidence to back up their position. However, how investors react to Fed actions is a developing theme that could continue to shake already volatile asset markets. Investor expectations for a 75 basis point increase have remained consistent and are likely to remain so until the FOMC meets on September 21st, even if a 100 basis point hike was floated. It's the latest in a string of bad days for the markets and billionaires' fortunes this year. Just this July, Jeff Bezos' fortune was reduced by $20 billion after Amazon's stock fell following a disappointing earnings report. The stock fell 14% after the company reported a massive loss of $3.84 billion in the previous quarter. Simply put, Amazon's stock has lost nearly all of its gains as a result of the pandemic. Consumers flock to online retailers for everything from face masks and Lysol wipes to patio furniture and dumbbells during the pandemic, and the company's stock skyrocketed in 2020 and 2021. As the economy recovers and consumers return to physical stores, Amazon and other digital retailers will face increasing pressure to demonstrate that they can maintain the rapid growth seen during the crisis. Amazon's most recent earnings report did little to assuage those concerns. The company reported its slowest revenue growth since the dot-com bust, and its current quarter outlook fell short of Wall Street's expectations. As a result of changing market conditions, a new challenge has emerged. Investors began to exit technology stocks at the end of last year, spurred on by rising inflation and the threat of higher interest rates. As a result of Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February, oil prices have risen even further this year. Following the Federal Reserve's decision to raise its benchmark interest rate, stocks have fallen even further in recent days. The sell-off has wreaked havoc on the technology sector, with tech titans losing more than $1 trillion in value. The Bloomberg Billionaires Index reported similar figures. The world's 500 wealthiest people lost a total of more than $54 billion as the market fell, according to the index. Bezos' fortune is primarily Amazon stock, of which he owns 11.1%. As a result, when Amazon's stock price fell, so did Bezos' fortune. He may be able to recover if Amazon's stock price rises again before he sells his shares. According to the New York Post, his fortune has plummeted since it peaked at $210 billion last year, making him the world's richest person at the time. According to Forbes, Bezos' college sweetheart and former wife Mackenzie Scott, who received 25% of his Amazon stock as part of a divorce settlement, saw a $6 billion drop in her wealth, dropping to $36.8 billion. Bezos' net worth has dropped by $40 billion since the beginning of the year, according to a Daily Mail UK report. Amazon is currently undergoing a stock split, which raises the number of outstanding shares while decreasing the stock price, making it more accessible to the average investor. The split will be a 20 for 1 transaction, which means that if you owned one share of Amazon before the split, you'd end up with 20 shares after the split, each of which would cost about 1 20th of the previous price. As a result, the value of your investment remains unchanged and one Amazon share that traded for slightly less than $2,450 is converted into 20 shares that cost slightly more than $120 each. 
What exactly is Amazon doing now? Companies whose stock prices are skyrocketing frequently announce splits to make their shares appear more affordable to retail investors. Alphabet, which owns Google and YouTube and has a market capitalization of nearly $1.5 trillion, has also approved a 20 to 1 split in July. But here's the rub. Despite the fact that a stock split appears to make a share more affordable, valuation measures such as price to earnings or price to sales ratios show that the stock is not any cheaper. Amazon will still be worth approximately $1.3 trillion after the split. The stock will still trade for more than 150 times this year's earnings forecast and nearly 2.5 times its estimated 2022 sales, both significantly higher than the broader stock market and other retail industry leaders such as Walmart and Target.